Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Today we are already at the sales barn. We're just getting out to go and see if they have horses here. We like to look at the horses and possibly let people know that we know that there are horses here because then oftentimes they get rescued, they get bought. Um, but do you know what happened today, Sam? So today, everybody left to go get coffee and I could hear Ellie crying. I could hear her crying. Do you know where she was? So I went downstairs and she sounded like she was kind of by the front door. And I was like, where are you? I opened the front door expecting her to be locked outside somehow. She was in the lining of the couch. So underneath the couch, the lining of the bottom of the couch, she was in there. I have no idea how she got in there. She was crying her little head off, couldn't get to me. She's stuck in there? Yeah, she was stuck in there. She couldn't get out. I had to like pull the lining down. There was a tiny little hole. I had to pull it down all the way along the bottom of the couch just so that she could get out. Like she could barely climb out. Wow, well, she must've went under the couch then. Yeah, she must've went under the couch and then got in there somehow. It was so weird, but anyway, let's go and see what they have for chickens and horses today. Sophie is wearing in her cowboy boots. So you know what's weird is that there's a guy out there, like he has a table here. Whoa. They're really friendly or not friendly. <laughs> kind of thinking, don't touch him. Sophie, he doesn't want to be touched. I think he's saying he's stressed. Don't stress him out more. So there's a guy outside. And he said to me, do you need socks? And I said, no, thank you. And he said, well, I need money. And the problem is, is that the socks that he was selling are really thick. Like the kind of socks, and they have that seam on the on the bottom, and that stresses me out. A couple of sheep, and that's it for today. Even the chicken guy is not here. Chicken guy didn't show up. He said he was going to bring us special chickens, and he didn't show up. All right, let's go home. Let's go home. These guys are all scared. Did you hear that guy screaming at me? He's, He's like, first he said, "Do you need socks? Because I need money." He's like, do you need socks? I said, no, thank you. And he said, well, I need money. And <laughs> he was like, kind of angry. And then I feel uncomfortable when people are screaming stuff out at me from like a stall, like, you know, when you go to fairs and stuff. And I don't mind if they ask me something, as long as they allow me to say yes or no. I feel uncomfortable when they start pressuring me. Like if I say no, thank you, I feel like they should be like, okay, pass. But when they start to pressure me, it makes me feel uncomfortable. But then he said, do you need socks? And I said, no, thank you. And he said, well, I need money. And then he said, do you need money? And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting away. Like he just seemed unhinged. But <laughs> why didn't you run to my defense and rescue me? I didn't hear anything. You didn't hear him? Anyway, I don't know if it's too early. It's 1030 if it's too early, but there was no, there were hardly no animals there. And even our beloved chicken guy wasn't there today. So that's good. We did not need any more chickens. All right, we are at Walmart now. You know what? I lost my Galaxy, Galaxy Buds. I have no idea where they went. But we are shopping. We are at Costco, our trip to Costco, our monthly trip. 167. So, Sophie wants AirPods. Which ones are those? The first ones? The second ones? So, so I told Sophie she has to buy them herself. These are actually adorable. Little swimsuits. It's a swimsuit and it has a hat. That would be so cute on Aria. I love books like this because you can decorate Look puppies. So they have this really adorable Yorkie in here. That's what I want Ellie, uh, Ellie's Yorkie? hair. That's what I want Ellie's hair to look like. But anyway, oh, that's you, kindergarten. there it is. Anyway, you use like all these jewels and you color them. I don't I think, see one for a great one. I think Brooklyn and I would love this. Oh. So we are here doing our grocery shopping. But I love looking at all the things because Costco has things that no other store has. Did we get our chairs like that here? Uh, I think so. I love those chairs. We do have these, but ours are different colors. They are cool. We use these. These are pool noodles. They're good for swimming. We lost ours. No, I have ours. They don't stand up very good though. Like they get really like deflated and bent over. Whenever he wants to find us, he always goes to the books because he knows that that's where we're gonna be. I'm like this. I'm this avid 
book reader. I write, read books all the time. I read like about four, four books a week. Even now I read about four books a week. So how I shop for books is that I go to places like Costco. So I look for books at Costco, at places like Costco. I go and I look and I read the backs of them and I see what ones I want. And then I buy them online. And the reason I buy them online is because I'm getting older and I can't see, it's harder for me to read books. So I want an electric bike so bad. $650, I love it. I like to try this out. I literally want an e-bike. Here's a folding e-bike for 450. Looks too small. So when we go home, we should get our bikes out and see what we need to do to fix them up so we can go for bike rides. Yeah, that's cute. That was way too small for you, Sophie. Yeah, so yeah, they're not working. I so, don't know why. Yeah, when I almost burned the house down and it didn't work. I almost it's burned the house down. It's used to get on Easter down. morning. I was trying to like heat up my breadcrumbs and I they they burnt and there was smoke everywhere and everyone was sleeping except for me and our fire alarms didn't go off. So look, see it says last ten years. It says that but they it last didn't. ten yeah. Ours lasted like what, four Two. years? Two years, yeah. So we're getting new fire alarms today. This one talks. This one talks. Wake up! There's a fire! Wake up! <laughs> I'm so glad we got her. She is cute. So this is, these chickens are in my shed slash garden area. Garden sled slash chicken okay. shed. <laughs> It's where I keep like all my chicken food, all my chicken supplies, like my feeders. I keep a bunch of boxes that I use for selling chickens. Look how cute Gaston is. Gaston, you're beautiful. Do you guys so in this bin over here, we have all of our four weekers. Are they four weeks? So just looking, you can tell the difference between the girls and the boys. Can you tell them, Sophie? Like that, the one you just said is Gaston? Mm -hmm. I would say it's a girl. It's a girl. If it was a girl, we'd be keeping her. Yeah. yeah. I don't, don't know. do it. These ones over here are really cute. They're my favorite. I love Polishes, like I've told you guys before, but I just don't know if anybody's going to buy them because they're black. Some of them are turning black and white, which I like. The thing is, a lot of these will probably, like that one is so cute. Get that black and white one, Sophie. Okay, we gotta be careful. These ones will fly. <sighs> Sophie, and I, Sophie and I like to spend time looking at our chickens and seeing how like they're coming along. Let's and see what ones we're keeping. See which ones are turning out really cute. Like, look at him. Her. Her. Look at her. Are you sure that's a girl? You said this was a girl. That one likes to eat at the top. Well, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. But she is getting, this one's getting really cute. Like, so look at the, at her comb. See her comb? That one. And then look at the others to see if their combs are as big. Some of them have pea combs, which means that they're a different breed, cross Some breed. Of them have no combs. Yeah, that one looks like a boy. Alright, so we don't have to keep any of them. I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Once they start cockadoodle doing. Mm -hmm. Once they start cockadoodle doing. So for me, chickens that we get is not about like what the chicken looks like, it's what color egg they lay. The ultimate goal for me is to get like fancy eggs. I can't catch her. Let me just put down more of Good this Lord. food. They eat a lot of food. Like, I filled this thing to the top yesterday. How gorgeous she is, Mom. This is another one we're keeping. You like her, too? Let's see her wings. She is so cute. She's like Lavender. Her name's Lavender. Her name is Lavender. You are now known as Lavender. I got a t-shirt on. I even have shorts on, you guys. I'm looking for this crazy rake. I have this big rake. Sam says it's in here in this garden area, which is getting to be way overrun. Because he says that I leave everything in the outside. And it's true, I do. That's a shovel, not a rake. Oh, did you get a burr on you? Come here, let me see. Anyway, I have this heavy duty rake. And I don't know where I've left it but I need it. 
So it is the beginning of farm chores, cleaning up the property after spring, and I'm lost. Like there's just so much to do. I feel like our horses need shedding. The land needs like scraping and cleaning and, and, and like raked and cleaned up. And our horse's paddock, both of them need cleaned up. Look at him looking at you. Oh. Yeah, I know. And he, he, he wants to do stuff. We're taking the advice of our vet and not working him, not doing anything with him right now. We have like... Your dog does that to my legs too. Does she? I've taught her to lay between my legs. No, when I call her. So today it's all about making priority. Hey, how did you get out here? I told you how I'm did... brushing my pony. Yeah, so uh, today it's all about priorities. For the next week or two, for the next two weeks, it's going to be all about priorities. And the priorities are... Brushing her, because she's always a mess. Is brushing and shedding her horses. Last week I shed Penny three times, and it's, she's, she's still not close. Yet. Yeah, these ones, the minis aren't even shedding, really. I love it because I Look at the breeze it. blowing through her beautiful hair. And also cleaning the paddock. That's our priority for this next two weeks is to shed our ponies out as many times as we can, but it's just a matter of time, like it takes time. And then cleaning our paddock. I've noticed that with Ellie, she gets one burr on her and then she like gets mental over it. Like she is a temperamental puppy. I feel like I'm sitting on mud. Yeah, you probably are sitting on mud. All right, so Sophie, as soon as you're done, his time. I'm gonna be here for a while. All right. Well, then you're coming to help us. We're gonna go do the arena. I'm gonna be here for the whole time. <laughs> so nice I'm also try. Working with her. No. First, our priority is my pony. You can't even lunch her. I know. All the work that you do with her I is can just teach like. Her how to stand. Yeah, you can teach her how to stand while you brush her. Like, look at her tail. Oh my goodness, where have you been, little missy? Come on, Gabby, I have a picture of Aria and Honey at Easter. I'm gonna post it, I'll put it here. And it is so adorable. The priority is the girls' winter paddock. That's what I'm trying to get ready first. And then we're gonna move over by the end of next week to the big paddock. Like, we're gonna have it done by the end of next week. I just find that when you live in a cold climate and you have snow for half the year, that you end up having to do like a big clean at the end of the year. Anyway, when you live in a cold climate, there's always like a time of a big clean. And I hate it, but it has to happen. Ellie, stop. Come here. Come here. So yeah, that's my dog. That's my princess. Don't eat poop. Hey, hey, get that out of your mouth. Thank you. <laughs> See, when I tell her not to do something, she runs to my legs. Oh no, with your words on repeat, I will break like a twig right under your feet. What the heck is rubbing against my leg? I thought it was a bug, but it's honey. <laughs> You're really cute. Still so fluffy though. So we've moved on from cleaning the arena, cleaning the barn, to or cleaning, number two. cleaning the arena, and cleaning the field. To Willow's getting a haircut. To I'm pony number two. Mane. You're gonna try and cut her mane? Look just at her. like the split ends. And Look her her tail and brow past it on Yeah, her, her tail too. Looks just a tiny bit too long. I just finished brown. Don't play with tails. Gabby, come on in here. I want you to help me with these blankets. So the tack room did not recover yet from having the grandkids here. I found this, which came from my craft section of our house. Jacob. Yeah, they just grab stuff, grandkids, and bring it wherever they want. All right, get up there, Missy. We're gonna hang up some blankets, hang up the winter blankets. Hopefully we don't have to take them down again. Sorry. How many videos do we have of Gabby risking her life? Too many.
deep clean of the barn while we have this heat wave so yeah as far back as her ears but i don't usually go a back that but some people say my friend says that she likes a really long bridal path she's it's, good i know she's well fun. honey just turns her head i cut honey's bridal path today i was tempted to cut her tail but i didn't why because i want to cut it so that it's like straight across Instead of like this weird uneven stuff. Yeah. It's nice that Sophie has honey and can like manage her mane and her tail and everything. Willow taught me everything I know. Yeah, from she's since she was little. Willow, on the other hand, has oh, like. Oh, Willow's mane is the worst. Yeah, so awful. I'm going to just trim like the dead pieces. And Gabby's going to probably have I to say we just let it go pieces? long. No, like because. The dead Jesus? <laughs> what? The dead pieces. Oh. Ellie is doing super good down here. Today is the first day that I just let her run free and, and Harley was watching her. She did really well with the horses. She understood, like she gets it now. Your hairs are always so long. Yeah, that's like Ellie too. Just cutting it a little bit. Trim them. I know, what are you gonna do? Good girl. Yeah. Ellie, anybody out there that does showmanship, I have a question for you. Does uh, showmanship with minis, is it different than showmanship with horses? Do they, because I know my friend in Australia, they show horses with minis for showmanship. There's no change, there's no difference, but I don't know what it's like in Canada and in the US. Is it, do, is it the same showmanship? Do they like have to stand the same way? Is it like the same thing or do they have different rules and different divisions for minis? All right, are you guys ready to see Willow's glow up? This is Willow's spring glow up from her winter. Dun, da, da, da. She's looking cute. I think I did good on her mane. I think you did great on her mane. Remember last time I tried to her mane? I think she looks cute. I think her tail might be a little long still. Oh my God. Is it? You guys are annoying. <laughs> Gabby and I said the same thing. Cute Willow. Super cute. Let's look from the front. Her hair from the front. Yeah, I love that you cut her, her I think ear. I need to cut that one a little bit more. <laughs> she looks cute. And you guys, she gave her very first trail ride with a rider. Uh, she's ridden with riders before in the arena, like a long time ago when Brooklyn and Jacob were tiny. And uh, those were her very first times, so but she's she did really great. Right, that's your glow up. Now we need to do Gracie. That'll have to be for tomorrow. Maybe we'll do a glow up every day. And that is it, you guys. I got cleaned up down here. Swept everything out. It, uh, the girls have been walking through and the dogs have been walking through. And every time they walk through it, they drag in more dirt. But the barn is all clean. I have a muck bucket that I, had, that I use for clean stuff. And I put all that chaff stuff in it. And then it got broken in the winter. So I need a new one. Sam, I need a new one. I, oh my goodness. I raked up this whole arena, got out all the hay and stuff that was on the ground, and we raked outside a lot. We raked out a ton of stuff. We got so much stuff done today. Somebody pooped. Probably Willow. She's like, oh, you can brush me all you want, but I'll show you. <laughs> anyway, that is it. That is for today. That's it for today. Come on, Ellie. Come on, little Missy. She's going to have a bath. I actually feel so good to finish a whole day's work done in the barn found my rake it was in the barn the whole time anyway that is it for today tomorrow is riding lesson day but like i said it's supposed to be really warm for the next two weeks and tomorrow we're going to do the big horses we're going to shed them out again and get them all situated but it is warm outside it is cloudy and overcast but oh my goodness i can tell when the sun does come out it is going to be hot don't you know that you're beautiful?